Hello there, good morning and good evening my dear brothers and sisters. A warm welcome to one and all of you and I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As always I feel very very privileged to be part of these sessions uh, by because we are here in the business of meditating from the word of God because we all have to learn one thing minus the word of God there is nothing that you and I can do in our lives because the word of God is like that fresh flowing fountain every single day it sheds new doctrines new principles and uh, you know new truth is uh, being revealed revelations you will get a lot of revelations and uh, the more you get involved the more easier it is for you to overcome the wiles of the devil overcome those uh, that uh, the demonic weapons that are formed against you yeah bible builds us as overcomers you all understand this right no one can call themselves as oh, i'm a christian believer in christ born again and all that uh, but having not you know learned how to overcome the challenges you know by faith and you know through through prayers and fasting and so many other methods right bible teaches with there is a serious importance of prayer you may want to go through that and the importance of prayer is very very important <laughs> because you don't know how to pray the methods to pray the weapons used to pray and fight the battle uh, you you re you really will be on the losing side all right so we strongly encourage you to please stay connected with us you don't know how about christianity you don't know about jesus please you're welcome we are going to teach you and we there is no religious conviction here we would never ask you to become a catholic or a csa or a pentecost nothing you are all children of god jesus died for you and me every one of us in this world regardless of religion gender or caste huh language skin color he died for everyone yeah and you have to justify the life you lived uh, that you have ignored the gospel you you have ignored the grace you have ignored the blood covenant that blood that was shed you will have to justify how are you going to justify when you have not lived okay someone is asking what if i don't justify your destiny is lake of fire be prepared to have that bath in that lake of fire there will won't be any water it will be fire you will take fire in a cup or a mug and then you will pour it on yourself try it out no will you enjoy just put your finger for one second on the can little candle with fire you will not be able to bear it for at the eternity you have to burn in the lake of fire you will like it i'm not threatening anyone judgment day is real and you will all be justified on all the deeds you have to give an account every idle word you spoke you have to give an account in the day of judgment yeah if you want to give a good account please you have to accept the name of jesus and jesus did not introduce christianity or religion that's man made religion was christianity there before jesus came that he came for christians no no he came for the mankind that's why i'm trying to tell you that he died for you also because he loves you and he wants your love warm welcome to this series agape love of god agape love of god is unconditional unchangeable unmistakable irrevocable yeah and you will never be able to find such a love in any human being not your own parents too not your own children too no way because god's love is supreme it's supreme form of love with no blemish it's spotless there is no envy there is no selfish there is no pride yeah that's what we had been explaining in the first two episodes and this is our fourth episode we are extending this agape love of god towards the mankind and the relationships various categories of relationships we discussed in episode 3 and now we are in the fourth category that is also part of relationship love and marriage as married couple how do you look at this agape love of god and how much you love each other having learned from god on his unconditional love don't you think so what a married life it's going to be if you have learned this kind of love from your father and have start to exhibit and manifest that love towards 
all the mankind not only your spouse you will all you will be like god that's why bible promises that you can be become perfect like god but provided you got to trust and believe that not more than trusting and believe uh, you got to be submissive and obedient to follow the principles that god the father left behind in this gospel sending his only son jesus new testament new covenant standards introduces laws of uh, lots of law and command laws and commandments more than 1050 of them are accounted but if you were to sit and count uh, i think it will be really a lot to count because every single doctrine and preaching from jesus sounds to be like law and commandment only to me very important okay so in our previous session we have discussed from the book of uh, proverbs uh, chapter i think chapter 8 or 9 um, sorry Pro- proverbs 5 verses 18 and 19 we spoke a little bit about loving deer fountain graceful doe and all that those that have not Uh, listen to that please go there in fact those that have not listened to other episodes start from episode 1 don't straight away dive here you won't understand anything it will be very tough for you to get adjusted i know there are a lot of smart people i know you are all gold medalists in intellectuals but uh, bible doesn't need uh, people like you you come with uh, your bronze medal you come with your empty head god will fill it with new knowledge and wisdom only such people can find place in the book of life that's called as humility you all agree with me i learned the bible like that only 25 years i have been learning bible i don't know any how many number of times i read that doesn't matter but i had spent significant time in reading these verses meditating on them and therefore god is able to use me because of the importance i have shown to this word of god and even now also i would i would definitely tell you I know Bible only less than five percent. I'm still ninety-five percent more, which means twenty-five years I can cover five percent. Then you do the math. If I were to reach the mark of hundred percent, ah, therefore I need to live long, as as long as thousand years or something like that. Then also I won't be able to understand. Bible is like a ocean. It's like a treasure hunt. You can you go the the deeper you go, the bigger the treasure. You will discover. Today we are going to. again continue from the book of proverbs but different chapter it's proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31 will be our meditation verse it's going to be fairly a longer session i will see if i can finish in one session or we may have to break it into two but we will try our best to close in one session all right are you all ready the title is virtuous wife virtuous wife means so many things but the important meaning here is virginity in the sense very holy very sincere faithful good loving all these things put together you can call somebody as virtuous wife it applies to husbands also it's like a unisex term right it applies to uh, both the genders back and forth to and fro <laughs> yeah some of the Uh, some of the what to say the terms are like that it's common it's applicable for both the genders therefore uh, do not look at a wives this is for you and all that you know wives can also show some verses husbands is applicable for you like that now it's applicable for both pick pick almost everything that is needed and uh, think it is only for you and all that but there are specific verses for sisters you uh, men cannot read that but it's okay now who can find a virtuous wife the author of this book or this chapter begins with a question and very good question to find an answer who can find a virtuous wife i have answered this partially in a different session but we can do that in a comprehensive way today who can find a virtuous wife you answer that question or who can find a virtuous husband or a loving husband or a husband who's uh, who's who's not just handsome see again i did not cover touch upon the externals at all correct no when i said virtuous it's all about you know loving kind gentle intellectual and uh, you know holy all these are to do with internals the it is matter of these are the matters to do to uh, to do with the spirit and uh, your soul and your thought process your mind you know and your exposures all these things are within you 
your externals doesn't matter we are not talking about skin color nose should be this many centimeters eyes should be this much wide and sharp and we are not talking about that skin color should be somewhere between very fair and a little tan no or mix of something or only then you or what your wife you are that wonderful husband handsome people as handsome to look and all that no sorry we are not talking about externals in fact bible is very clear god the father told this god is not someone who looks at the outward appearance he always looks at the internals what is inside your heart god is very much interested you know to know the condition of your spirit how many of you are with me body mind spirit soul spiritual composition that is spiritual anatomy we have done a session 85 plus hours of teaching it is available in the playlist please go listen you will understand not easy to teach on such subject for a very long time but we did, we did that by the grace of god okay coming to the point ah huh? the heart of a husband sorry uh, who can find a virtuous wife i'm trying to answer this question right a person who is sensible enough to understand the spiritual matters the holy deeds the expectations of god who have understood the character of god what god likes and what god dislikes what god expects and what god ignores yeah what is important to god what is least important to god so many questions you definitely you can find answers these are all not very difficult questions to answer isn't it god definitely uh, doesn't focus too much on materialistic deeds but god also told that i will provision everything that is needed for you food clothing shelter all these things he will take care but the same god told that not all of these things could take you to heaven not all of these things could get me get get you get you close it to me just because you get a good job and a good car and a good wife and all that it's all done no 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 the way how you are living your life the way how you are using these materialistic deeds to bless others to live that holy life and what is the source of this blessing you are having a liquor shop and you are mending money and then you go and give the tithe it's money of blood you make people to drink alcohol kill them you know how many families are separated because of these drunk arts source of money are you are you are taking bribe huh? are you are a businessman not paying taxes to the government and all the tax money i give it to the pastor brother no you don't give it to pastor give it to caesar what is due to caesar jesus told this yeah you know the likes and dislikes of god for sure in the similar way does god like you to be walking in unity with your wife yes god likes you to separate yourself from your wife and do things secretly no god likes to leave you to have fellowship with your wife and love her as yourself yes god likes you to do or get involved in that secret sins like pornography and just flirting no prostitution no many people you know you know the answers but still why you are still not able to live that wonderful life with your wife why because you never sought for a wife from god you never would want to wait in patience for god to fulfill his divine will and plan you never would want to find your partner from the hands of god whom he had predestined even before the foundations of the world marriages are being ordained in heaven i told this many times and by god god orchestrates the marriage and you would never want to wait in the presence of god you would never want to be patient enough you would never want to consult god you you always place your agenda i like that girl get her married to me you think god is a marriage broker or something like that or matchmaking partner or something like that no he is running some e-commerce website marriage bureau he go and register and he finds that girl or he gets that girl you see, you know you they have album no you select a girl and please arrange for a meeting this and that and the and the guy who is running that marriage bureau will take care of that event and they will ensure that you are married but after the marriage the broker is gone that that mar- that that event manager is gone right it's all about you and her how you live your life but our father in heaven will ensure that you are getting married according to his divine will and plan if you are waiting in this 
uh, in his presence and if you are putting him to the front saying that you come and you to fulfill i don't have any agenda you come father you fulfill your will don't you think so father in heaven is gracious enough to ensure that you lead your lives in godly way and you finish your race in style huh? this is where we miss now who can find a virtuous wife is a person who always abides in these principles who believes in these doctrines who invites god god you come if you are not showing me the girl and convincing me i am not going to marry anyone i don't i have no choices sorry i empty my choices i look to you yeah but still you have to look at the album and make some choices yes make two three choices and leave it to god let him lead you and in one of my sessions i i told you my personal testimony i had gone through all of this and uh, finally god made his choice and the only girl i met was my wife and she is my wife <laughs> she became my wife you all understand huh? true story you don't want to believe don't believe you will discover the truth in heaven and then you then uh, i am going to be very angry at you see you did not believe me and for this reason you couldn't buy this principle and this reason you are now burning in the lake of fire that will be very dis- disappointing and disheartening you will seek one thing and god will grant it you believe in that and therefore you need to seek god bringing him to the front ask god hey father my daddy you know who i am you created me you built in certain expectations within me and you know that i don't have to open my mouth and tell you this height i want and this weight i want and all that you are not going to some chicken shop and buying the chicken right it's not about that it's about living your life with your marriage partner forever very serious father you decide you are the one who knows who is suitable for me you make the choice for me come on for her worth is far above rubies ruby emerald gold diamond very very precious stones you have to spend lot of money to buy these stones i have never spent money in buying these stones and all right little bit of gold here and there yeah but i am telling you these are precious jewels stones you don't get it for free how many of you have learned to start to look at your marriage partner like that precious ruby whether it girl to man man to girl husband to wife wife to husband right oh, don't ever think only wives have to be looked at the precious jewel yes brother tell correctly tell it loudly tell it boldly clearly to that guy and let him start <laughs> looking at me like that not only applicable for wives but husbands too yes wives also start to look at your husband like that precious jewel given in my hands why this is coming from god he made that selection for you but are you people going to have no challenges no temptations no battles to fight no you will have enough of them in fact if you are married according to the will of god you will have battles you will have troubles but you will be an overcomer and none of this battle or weapons could hurt you you will hurt them back you will chase the demons one person is able to chase 10000 bible says you will be able to handle even 10000 demons single handed that will be the power of you know power power with both of you that travels the supreme power of god will be with you why because you have learned to respect each other you treat each other as that ruby as that gold and all that not about materialistic explanation but when you buy that one gram of gold or maybe one little diamond stone spending a million dollar where do you keep you keep somewhere near the commode so that it could fly it could uh, it could uh, accidentally fall into the commode and someone accidentally could flush it therefore i can go and buy another piece of diamond for 1 million dollar is that how you will think no even as even the guy who is so stupid also will never do it you would probably open up a locker you will keep it safe inside a locker not even at home because burglars can you know steal and you know house home no 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 housekeeping people could steal and all that you will not keep in your office cupboard no you will keep in a reliable place yeah which is full of sec- where there is full of security and safety and all that agreed now i am telling you you will be that security for your wife you will safeguard her why because she is a precious precious jewel you will never allow her to be devoured by the demons you will always have watch over her it's not about you know suspecting her 
questioning or fidelity not like that but then you will have that so much of care and concern beloved i'm telling you that's the way how god looks at us 1 peter 4 7 you know for he is the lord who cares for us bible says and he says god i am the i am god but i am your helper hebrews 13 6 i don't know how many of you read these verses carefully you will be in the serve, serving mode all the time helping protecting you will be like our bodyguard similarly wives also will watch over their husband yeah and they will be correcting each each time they kind of derail get into a different track distracted uh not even knowing that they are in temptation the other partner will really watch over this person why because this jewel shouldn't fall into come out you don't deserve to be there uh you deserve to be in a locker a safest place or you deserve to be in somebody's uh, you know somebody's necklace the, they wear around their neck right or you deserve to be sold for a better price which means what on the white throne judgment you deserve to be in a better place that is called as paradise and from there to the kingdom of heaven you shouldn't be losing that place the other partner will be careful about this partner that is the beauty of marriage and that is why you need to understand right you need to receive the partner from the hands of god and therefore you treat each other with as that precious jewel because when god gives something it's going to be perfect perfect free of errors free of mistakes free of failures he will add no sorrow to it yes you will go through challenges but you will come out victorious you will go through sickness but you will come out absolutely healed he will add no sorrow and no demonic forces could separate you trust me because why precious jewel no you won't be ready to lose it imagine if somebody is coming to snatch away that uh, ruby or emerald or whatever you have in your hand you would be able, and you spot that person is coming to snatch you from a distance you would be standing there waiting readily with your open arms come 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 please come come snatch and go no <laughs> you will find a safe place to hide it or maybe you will run away sneaking through the window or you will jump from the second floor don't try doing that but i'm telling you i will never give that because it's hard earned money that's in my hand in the form of jewel yes it's my hard earned life partner whom i've earned from my lord god almighty it's answer for my prayers and how can i lose it you will fight against the wiles of the devil you will fast and pray you will go to any extent to protect your partner you will cover up the sins of your partner you will be not very slow to forgive you will be quick to forgive and slow to anger you will be bound to compassion you will become like god filled with everlasting mercies can you believe what a family it's going to be can you believe what blessed couple you are going to be if you are if you have learned to look at each other in this manner nobody is a saint here all of us go through such uh, such silly fights and such atrocious behavior and all that fine now time to learn time to revisit your principles time to revisit your past and kind of you know refill it and rejuvenate it with new set of doctrines principles standards which the bible is teaching you and me perhaps you were not very careful in the past it's fine but today is your chance today is your day yeah now let's move to the next verse are, are you all with me uh, we will see how it goes we will break into two sessions if required okay we will see verse number 11 hope it's get, get it's just getting interesting isn't it <laughs> looks like some of you want that virtuous wife right now <laughs> who is that yeah that's a spirit keep up all right so verse number 11 proverbs 31 verse 11 if you see the heart of her husband safely trusts her mm. again put in the place of husband as wife the heart of his wife a slave safely trusts him she always go to the opposite gender it's not one way discussion in the bible is never a monologue how many of you understand this it's always a dialogue and bible is not gender biased book sorry but they have to see they cannot use this slash no forward slash his or her uh, trust him or her uh, this is not possible our husband slash wife they won't be able to write books like that <laughs> understand right therefore it's basically the word you need to circle out here is trust you might be boyfriends and girlfriends for 20 years right from childhood we know each other hmm no sorry that cannot build trust sorry you will end up the trust being broken at some point of time in life 
why because man made relationships are definitely prone to go through these kind of heartaches yeah and that includes breaking in trust and not having confidence not having the true love or actors you know how many husbands and wives they act to each other oh darling and all that inside of um, they use some other names why because these are man made relationships man means if, you know women made relationship also <laughs> you put any anything that you want so my point is <clears throat> when you make relationships of your own efforts of your own intellectuals of your own mathematics of your own algorithm whatever you yeah my calculation can never go wrong really yeah you will see that the life will answer you yeah when you get into this realm of this life it's called as a journey huh? you will definitely see that uh, you know hurting you at some point of time it's not a curse beloved that's not my intention right but i'm telling you i've seen that enough in my life but when god makes that relationship he knows how to basically take good care of both of you especially when god ordains the marriage when you have sought god pick the life partner for me my father my abba father i wait in you you think god even in the corner of his mind he would take it very casually ah oh, okay fine since you asked no there is one girl sitting there please go and get her married uh, uh, get married to her no yeah uh, god is somebody who can foresee the future until the last day not only the last day on earth yeah revelation 2010 or revelation 2011 white throne judgment it's about the beginning of that new heaven and earth and not only that he knows the end of that new heaven and earth he is the god who knows the future for what is going to be the case trillion years from now trillion years and don't you think he he can plan he, he doesn't have the ability to plan for your future as married couple what you going to live together for 40 50 years together then also you will be like close to 80 maybe you live together for 60 years then it'll be 90 100 you think god cannot plan for the 60 years of relationship perfectly fine that is going to suit you which is going to build the trust yeah and trust money cannot buy i'm telling you your reputation cannot buy your credibility cannot buy your efforts cannot buy how much ever righteous you are no way but there is something more than that it's called as grace it's called as the mercies of god it's called as the favor favor of god can build the trust in one another nothing else how much ever you are truthful some day it's going to break up but then when you have sought for that life partner from god your father he definitely knows how to ensure that you both walk together as you know as as one minded people and uh, you know always built in that love um, you know money cannot buy that i mean how much ever efforts you put in uh, brother i disagree with you because you know what we know each other for 25 years and all that brother what i'm trying to say here is you are not dead and gone right your life is a journey there is a long way to go make that statement after every 10 years let's see what happens you are now 10 on your 10th anniversary let's see what happens in 20th anniversary 30th anniversary and all that see i'm not saying um you know building trust in each other is an impossible thing yes but then is it going to be consistent is it going to be the uh, you know is it going to be sustained until the end of your life i can say a definite answer as i can say the definite answer is yes provided if god had ordained that marriage yeah if you had sought for that virtuous wife or that righteous husband from your god abba father guaranteed yes mark my words yeah but still we are having challenges you know i always maybe you are that righteous brother that wonderful sister who had been in fasting prayer receiving that husband or wife from the hands of god true but why am i seeing that my husband is doesn't not, not in love with me why am i still seeing that problems are sustaining be- between us i'll tell you what you both are married you got the life part you you are you you got your life partner from god but are you both married to christ understand this clearly yeah we 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 accommodate one half and we miss on the other half you need to stitch it together 
only then you get that answer you get something you know shaping up very well for you beloved brother beloved sister are you married to christ do you make time to have fellowship with your father in heaven family prayers fasting and prayer yeah when you have a problem do you have the habit of praying first and then thinking through uh, or think, uh, taking it through uh, you know with the with the leading of the holy ghost yeah do you do you put holy spirit in front holy spirit what do you say talk to us i i can really tell tell you the truth and a person who's also taking the second half of my explanation seriously and you have that fellowship married to christ uh, your church right your one body you are the temple of god and the holy spirit dwells in the midst of you no way you will be able to say my life is still a failure i have been tons of tons of unanswered questions yeah no we don't have trust we don't have love for each other no one can say that i can bet my life it is definitely something that you have uh, created room for the devil to play a role in your life you know somehow devil has strong hold in your life analyze introspect get rid of that reconcile with god repent for your sins come back to your course the original course right from that original course that journey of life which takes you towards destiny a some of you deviated you are going towards destiny b destiny b is lake of fire destiny a is kingdom of heaven and and its righteousness huh? somehow you lost focus but then you are so so worked up so busy huh, with a lot of things we are we are all busy right we get busy i'm not saying that getting busy is a curse no it's a blessing you got to be busy but then in the midst of your busyness how many of you know that jesus was the most busiest person but you know what he was busy first of all in praying <laughs> but the remaining time he had is the is where he had dedicated time for ministries analyze his life clearly you will understand most of the times he separated himself in loneliness and he had fellowship with his father are you learning something huh? more than having fellowship with one another learn to have fellowship as a couple with your father this was the problem with adam and eve and that that was the reason they had fallen down okay by the way they had two different problems they never had fellowship with one another that's why i proved to you from the gospel right you look at genesis 3 and genesis 4:1 uh after they were kicked out of eden garden that's when they had fellowship with one another until then there was no intimacy no carnal intimacy no uh you know what to say the uh, the the emotional intimacy nothing no intimacy at all i think they barely interact with each other and on top of that they never had the truthful fellowship father was the one who had fellowship they never had fellowship see fellowship from father to the mankind is guaranteed always he is in search of love Psalm 14:2. You take and read, right? His eyes are all over the earth. Is there no one who understands me? Is there no one who wants to love me? He he longs for our love. All that is in the world is mine. What can you give to me to please me, to win my heart? Because everything you want to give gold and money and silver, oh, you got it from God. You are giving what you got from God back to God. That shows your attitude and heart. But it's not it. It's not yours. you received it from god therefore don't say my car my house my wife everything belongs to god you are just a tenant in this world okay the world the creator of heaven and earth the world belongs to him he is the original owner don't say that i am the owner of this house no god is the owner of this house actually i am a tenant because when my time comes i will be leaving this uh, place leaving this house and someone else will take over my house my descendants and that that fellow you also teach this to your sons and daughters huh never say that you are the inheritor and you are the new owner no you are also a new tenant owner is the same person jesus and his father yahweh god okay now why did i give that example is always start to look to god for his mercies for his leading as much as jesus was dependent on his father each one of us will have to be dependent on him and that's a reason well, since you are not following by these standards and this protocol and this law and commandments Uh, which we are telling you that's why you see a lot of problems between you and your husband my my dear sisters listening to me na no? my dear hus- uh, brothers listening to me that's why we see a lot of problems uh, prevailing but there are wonderful couple uh, try to learn from them you see them, you see some couple right don't you think there is something different in them how they are always joyful how they are always at peace how they are always at ease no tensions talk to them especially christian couple see i don't want to go by the standards of other doctrines other religion 
right that, that 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 may make them wonderful couple here but they may not get a place in heaven sorry because they are they have not accepted jesus their life the way in the truth yeah when i say this oh now he is mixing religion i am not mixing religion jesus is your god too jesus is the universal god christianity is man made religion jesus never made a religion or created a religion christianity sorry learn the history little bit and come back to me if you do not want to learn history at least listen to our channel genealogy and evolution of christianity in first 10 sessions i have explained how christianity evolved as a religion king constantine 337 ad that's when he create commemorates this religion then somebody questions how about acts 11 and 26 right at antioch they recognized themselves as christians they were secret christians they needed a name to recognize each other why because they were called as terrorists yeah and they, they don't call them uh, even allowed christian no? not like that they used to draw a symbol in uh, using their big toe right big toe and the other half of that symbol will be drawn by the other guy and that's when they recognize each other yeah, that symbol that fish symbol even today also you will see in many cars and many churches that was the an ancient uh, symbol what do you know about history you cannot look at the history for the last 100 years and call this as religious conflicts and this and that all this is man made go back go back 2000 years ago what happened early age christianity it's not religion we are talking here anyway come back to the original point that's why i'm telling you don't go by people belonging to other doctrine other religion they were atheists but still see how wonderful are they as a couple yes on earth but not in heaven they won't get a place in heaven look at married couple christian married couple who are living by the word of god very happy very joyful and at at ease at peace according to galatians 5:20 to 23 and learn from them why because not only here would they be a blessed couple but they would also find a place in the kingdom of heaven because they live by the standards of the gospel verse number 11 second half so he will have no lack of gain he or she again you will lack in nothing beloved yeah we started with this discussion of this virtuous wife and righteous husband probably you can translate it to feminine and masculine that way now huh? when you seek for a life partner from the hands of god you will never go through losses sorry i disagree wonderful married couple suddenly saying that you know we are at loss no money to pay rent no money to pay the school fees we have stopped the kids from going to school no we are not able to pay the fees hey it's your education here also there are government schools but uh, it's not at good standards sorry you go around and see the government schools it's not like here us us folks listening to me yeah many many people they admit their children in the government schools because their standards are way high private schools they don't admit but here it's ultimately different you won't be able to send uh, your children to the government schools so they discontinue the school because why no money you will lack nothing bible says you will be perfect in all aspects bible says james chapter 1 verses 2 3 4 yeah you will be good at perseverance and faith and gain everything and god will teach you how to gain and in fact if you are aligning by this protocol in you align by the standards tell me a reason why you should be you should go through failure and losses materialistic and spiritual both aspects i'm telling you you will never be at loss as a righteous person you will be gaining more of your credibility and reputation in the sight of god and in the society spiritual deeds right and at the same time as a person who's on the materialistic side you know at your work you will be prosperous if you are a businessman you will be prosperous yet you will never cheat government you will pay tax on time and yet your gain and profit margin you will be touching you know it will be skyrocketing year after year but a guy who is cheating the government and all that he will be at loss <laughs> god will put everyone to shame but there there are couple who say that you know i'm always at loss why because you have not understood the laws and commandments you are not abiding to the protocol the standard set by god you are not following the rules you are not following the principles and sorry to say this the majority of the people in christendom today are poverty stricken some or other losses they are not able to come out of their poverty and all that yeah we go through challenges that's a quite a different thing we we would be in debt but god will help you to repay the debt i have taken uh, bank loans multiple times but god had been very very gracious 
helping us as a couple to repay that loan and we would not do anything uh, see many people take multiple loans it's stupidity listening to me the first of all avoid loans yeah you can manage it out of your 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 money from pocket yeah please do it your your hard earned money and save savings please don't go for loans but then i had a need where i need to go for loan because else i will be you know missing the opportunity to build a house or buy a property and all that i don't want to get too much into the details but we kept in prayer and god was leading us and i took a safe amount which i can repay even if something goes wrong i can sell the property and repay the loan i will never put my i will never endanger my wife's life or my um, you know ch child's life you know i calculate all that with the help of god with the leading of the spirit in fasting and prayer i will have to make the decision not before fasting and prayer for almost a year what do you think morning i got up i fasted and prayed and tomorrow morning i went and signed some documents no sorry sometimes i had to pray for 4 5 years continuously before i could go for any loan yeah i'm telling you this is the way how god helps you to profit materialistic and spiritually also i've already discussed that with you in the first half isn't it we will do one more verse i think i will have to continue in the next session i won't be able to complete she does him good and not evil all the days of her life there are a lot of evil husbands there are a lot of evil wives they are almost like witches you know like sorcerers always looking for an opportunity to bite some flesh from their husband or to loot some money or to pressurize him torture him mentally abuse him same same here harassing husbands i also told you you will be surprised there are a lot of husbands who have sexually harassed their wives and they can't say anything out such a shame christian husbands listening to me are you doing that to your wife shame on you you won't even get a place in hell <laughs> because why the demons themselves will kick you out no you don't belong here you're such a nasty fellow get out of her home yeah because at least the demons right they have a protocol they are decent enough to follow that protocol they stick to their limits and boundaries and they are following the uh, laws and principles and uh, which is told by their boss lucifer you are neither here nor there correct and likewise uh, you know uh, wives listening to me you know you always have that secret phone call with your elder sister and your mother no no go and pressurize your husband just check on him always inducing that doubt you know the the poor fellow he'll be walking back home after working long hours and why so late today you all you yesterday you came at 6 pm today 635 whom did you meet <laughs> you have that habit yeah uh, always doubting always doubting the credibility and that is called as evil attitude and gossiping about your husband to your colleague at workplace the gossiping about your wife to your colleague at workplace sorry not allowed gossiping about one another to a different person no sorry it's 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 privacy yeah your life is uh, you know any secrets it must be between husband and wife you cannot share that with anyone and even if somebody wants to share you please shut your ears saying that no sorry i don't want to listen to it you have a problem with your husband sort it out with him you don't be involved but why because you will be justified you will be judged your god is not going to be happy with you either don't listen to such nasty stories about one another's relationship yeah married couple and likewise you know please for heaven's sake i won't use this word quite often do not open up your mouth bad mouthing about your husband to anyone you have something with your husband go talk to him him and him alone that are not in front of your children huh? no bad mouthing and likewise you have a problem with your wife you know i'm 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 very honest with you we had lot of disagreements as a as a couple you know but we had shown the respect to each other we always worked with together um although you know we, we would we would we would always talk but we would be not normal for few months also this went on certain topics you know but ultimately we were not the reason it was someone else <laughs> god is my witness i'm telling you the truth the problem which sustained for months together we were not the root cause for the problem it was someone else yeah but we would continue to be normal talking and all that but we know we are we have some botherations 
and we continue to work in turns after a week again we talk about the same topic after a day we talk after a month we talk we talk we talk through dialogues we have settled down yeah we are a married couple we are a happy couple i never think we are free we were free of challenges this this is life yeah so sometimes i'm telling you you may not be the reason for the fight between both of you it could be someone else but you got to sort it out beloved without anyone's inter- interventions don't allow anybody to intrude between you wife and husband listening to me christian couple listening to me never give that authority never give that uh, you know never never allow that person to uh, intrude between you and your wife she doesn't good that means what good means what presenting something on the birthday wedding anniversary is it called as good Th- those are all materialistic things which everybody they, every dick and harry will be doing it now doing good round the clock 365 days means it's all about internals yeah you don't look at him you don't make him bow down you don't make him uh, humiliated and all that and bad mouthing about him uh, you're, 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 you 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 will never be a spoiled sport to spoil his reputation and credibility before a third person you will never be the reason my dear sister my dear brother you will never be the reason to pull down your wife's image and reputation yeah before a third person whoever it may be maybe her own parents maybe your own parents and this is the reason why i strongly recommend you leave your father and mother for some time please or maybe permanently but take care of them from a distance but you got to live together in a in a in a in a, in a place where, which will build your privacy and trust and all that right don't allow intrusions you are a family and i am not the one who made this law sorry the law was made by father in heaven as early as genesis chapter 2 why father himself backed off i was the one who created you come on you got to discuss with me first how can you decide god never says that if god the father would back off being the creator of heaven and earth being the being the one who created us who are you my brother my sister yeah you got your children married you keep on intervening in their in their marital affairs sorry you are not a christian maybe you are the reason for all the confusions at home <laughs> lot of people are looking at me with you know they are red faced how dare you talk like this you are creating more confusions in my family sorry i am trying to resolve the confusions which you created in your family <laughs> i means not i right the voice of the holy spirit listen to me i'm not i'm not just giving you some pep talks here these are all not motivational speeches telling you the truth go fix your problems today do not delay why tomorrow you never know you'll be alive or not with all the problems and confusions you, cre- you created in your own children right yeah in, in, in maybe mother in laws listening to me father in laws listening to me father mothers listening to me are you the reason that your children or not happy in your married life you know the truth obviously because you hate your son in law you hate your daughter in law don't you know the truth don't pretend as if you are that innocent sister biting your nails having understood nothing huh? you know the truth tomorrow if you are dead and gone my elders listening to me yeah, elderly people listening to me you have to give an account trust me your destiny is definitely not paradise and kingdom of heaven you will be burning in the lake of fire yeah because you have destroyed a family and you have been on the side of the destroyer his name is devil and you are an evil person and every evil person with that wicked thought wicked attitude yeah you are the you are the reason for every bad mouthing gossiping spoiling their reputation credibility killing the peace and intruding and uh, through intrusions you are dominant creating confusions why because you want that control controlling attitude what do you gain ah it's their family you don't interfere oh no 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 it's my child my daughter no that was before marriage after marriage it is her family her husband her life if they need help let them come even if your daughter is going to come with complaints on her husband call her husband right away come here right now and next time your daughter will be very careful even to talk to you yeah and explain her off offline explain her from this kind of verses ah huh? mothers and fathers listening to me explain her 
otherwise what happens is she will find a replacement she will go to the neighbor's house and all that it's going to be even more a disaster at least she was telling you before now she tells the whole world you got to explain her teach her discipline and don't wait for marriage right do all this before marriage fathers and mothers mothers listening to me you have a responsibility to coach your children before marriage not after marriage or not on the day of marriage shame on you if you are doing that you don't have time to teach some morals from the bible to your children then why did you beget a child <laughs> this discussion is heading elsewhere isn't it <laughs> of course i'm very very happy that the holy spirit is teaching us so many things today oh my time is up sorry we have to continue did i not tell you we have to break it into three four sessions maybe it's not about only virtuous wife and righteous husband but it's all about relationships as husband and wife as couple and it also involves other external actors as a family how can be or how can be be orchestrated as a christian couple god bless you heavenly father we want to thank you for this teachings we appreciate your mercies thank you for teaching us so very personally in jesus name we pray subscribe to our channel share it with all your known ones dear ones be an instrument in the hands of god to spread his holy word continue to remember me and my ministries in your personal prayers god bless you i'll meet you soon